Hi, this is Carmen Mason, and I'm going to be showing you today how to use Class Dojo in your Google Meets or live session. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and enter your Google Meet that you have scheduled with your students, and you want to be the first person in there so that we can go ahead and get set up before your students log in. So when you first get logged in, they will see you. For the sake of this video, I just have a blank screen. Um, I have my camera covered up, but this will actually be you. And before your students get in, you wanna go ahead and present, and you wanna share a Chrome tab. So you should have Class Dojo for Teachers open up on your screen. So you go ahead and log in if you have an account. If you don't have an account created, go ahead and create one. Add all your students into your classroom, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my Miss Example class that I created earlier today. So I have my students in a viewable mode, so that is what, I was, what I'm going to share with them through a Chrome tab. So I'm going to press Class Dojo and Share. And make sure that that Share Audio um, button is also clicked so that way they can see. You know that your students will be able to see this screen now because there's a blue box around my tab. It says sharing this tab with meet.google.com. So if I come over here, it's now saying that I'm sharing this tab. So it's going to follow along with you. You're going to go ahead and share Class Dojo for teachers. So that way, when your students come in, they log on and they will see you as well as their little monsters in Class Dojo. So let's get started on the things we can do while we have our students in. So let's say your student goes ahead and logs in early. I went ahead and student two came in and I was very proud of them for coming in early. Instead of verbally telling them, I can tell them you did an awesome job coming in. And I can also go ahead and create a skill that says early to class or on time. I did that by editing the skills down here and making it a thumbs up early to class on time. So great job, student two. Thank you for being early to class today. So you can go ahead and give them positive points virtually live right in front of their faces. And they love that clicking sound that makes them so happy. It's kind of like a game to them. So you have exactly the same toolkit as you do on the app on your um, desktop. So what you're gonna do is open up your toolkit and these are the things that you can do. Now mind you, these are all live on Google Meets. So you can go ahead and set a timer for however long that you want students to talk. So you say, okay, you have one minute to ask your friends and to talk to your friends about what they did this summer. So you can set a timer and you can make it a big one, just like this. Or you can press timer down here and it'll bring it onto your desktop. So all of your students are still viewable as well. You can also go back into your toolkit and press random to call on a random student. So say, okay, student two, can you answer my question now, please? Good job. And it's fun for them and engaging for them because they get to see their cute little monsters show up. And they're waiting and waiting, just like they would in the classroom. And then if you've created a group, you can select multiple and give awards to groups, just how you would if you were in um, a classroom. You can also select attendance. So green means that they're here, yellow is tardy, and red is absent. So let's say student N didn't make it to class today. You can save attendance, and it won't show him up today. So you can, it'll only choose random from the students that are here. And it's also an extra knowledge for you to be able to record your attendance later instead of right when you're in class. You can do it all on your screen. Another awesome thing that you can do with the toolkit is a noise meter. So you can go ahead and bring that up and you can bring down the sensitivity and you can say, all right, you can go ahead and talk to your friends right now. I want you to talk about um, a certain prompt and you say, we're not going to be yelling. So I don't want you to make sure that it goes all the way up to the red. I need you to make sure that we keep it in the green and yellow, which is just another visual for your, for our students. There is also directions that you can pull up and you can show them a schedule for today instead of instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is introduce ourselves. Then we're going to think pair share and then we'll leave or we'll say our goodbyes. You can have instructions or your daily schedule there. And you can set music for small.